Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showcasing five things which hopefully you guys don't already know about in GTA Online. If you do learn something new, then please show your support by smacking that like button, as it would be very much appreciated. But without wasting any more time, let's get into the first secret. So this secret applies to anyone who loves matchmaking or anyone who loves user-created races. And if you want to go directly into user-created races instead of Rockstar Created, press start, go into online and filter quick job content to user-created only. You can change this between Rockstar Created only, any and also user-created only. It's a really helpful tip and I think it will allow you to diversify and just give you a much broader range of races, deathmatches or whichever jobs you decide to search for. So if you want to apply this, simply apply it in your options menu in online and then go into quick job and look for the type of job you want to play. Like I said, it gives you a whole more diverse chance of getting loads and loads of just new races or death matches which you guys haven't seen or played. So I recommend you guys do it as it will definitely spark up your online sessions. And next up, I'm going to be showing you something which a lot of players don't think about straight away. And if you're near a helicopter and your friend isn't and you want to meet at the yacht, you can just call your captain and ask the captain to give you a helicopter. Although this trick isn't that significant and your friend could have just got a helicopter pickup from Merriweather, not all people have $1,000 to spend, especially if you're tight on money in GTA Online. So if you want to help out your friend and you're nowhere near him, but he's near the yacht and just needs to swim a few minutes to the yacht, just help him out by getting a helicopter by calling the captain, which will of course spawn right next to him. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this tip, although it's not the most significant thing, it's definitely something I think we should all consider, especially if you want to help out your friends in GTA Online. Anyway, next up, I'm going to be showing you something pretty cool, and this will allow you to keep your own flair in your inventory. Now, this is something which, once again, a lot of players don't think about or know about, and it's extremely easy to do. Unfortunately, it does cost $8,000, and you will lose them if you leave the online session. So for as long as you're in the session, you will be able to keep the flares. So all you're going to want to do is purchase a Merriweather airstrike, and the moment you get your flare, you don't want to throw it on the ground. You're going to want to wait for the jet to disappear as you can see it's just flown over me just gone off the radar and then all you're going to want to do is store it in your inventory. Now whenever you throw it out you will not get the airstrike but you will get an awesome flare like effect and you can also hold this around, spark up some light and explore some really cool secret locations and it's just a great thing to have in your inventory which will of course confuse your friends as well. Now a lot of you guys were asking me to do a video about how I got it so I just decided to add it into this compilation so those of you guys who didn't know how I have flares in my inventory this is how you do it. And next up, I'm going to be showing you a cool trick which will allow you to extend any sort of lobby you're hosting indefinitely. Now this is something which a lot of players know, but at the same time a lot of players don't know as well. And if you have already exhausted the option to extend the time, and your time is running out but you just want to fill up a few more spaces, all you're going to want to do is flick matchmaking from open to closed and back to open. And what you will notice is the timer will reset back to one minute every time you do this. Of course you can use this to help you fill up a lobby but but do beware that this might cause a few members to abandon the lobby as you may be taking too much time. So it has pros and cons, but it's definitely a trick I think everyone needs to know as it can be helpful in certain situations. Anyway, last but not least, I'm going to be showcasing an awesome secret paint job glitch, trick, tip, whatever you guys want to call it in GTA Online. And all you're going to want to do is find yourself a rusty Declasse tornado. You can find them in the exact location I got mine at around 2 to 3 o'clock midday in Blaine County. I found two at the exact same time the first time I arrived there so that's just a really good location to grab one and all you're going to want to do is bring it into Benny's original motorworks and upgrade it and once it's upgraded because you've got the rusty version of the tornado the paint job will glitch out or go into a different sort of paint job and what you will notice about it is that it's kind of a spread paint job it's kind of strange it's not as reflective as a classic or a metallic but at the same time it's not as dark as any sort of matte color. It's kind of in between. So by having this color, you basically have a very secret 
and rare paint job. Now this will work in a variety of colors, although this is limited to any sort of rusty tornado. You cannot do this glitch with any other tornado if it's just a normal one. It has to be a rusty tornado. Luckily, if you did do this glitch on PC, then you can change up the paint job color by doing one simple glitch. And all you're going to want to do is follow all these steps until you have the car I am using now by just upgrading the rusty tornado and then applying the crew color onto it. And what you will notice is the color will change, but the paint job will stay the same. So what you will notice is you will still have this secret paint job coating. However, the color of it will have changed because you would have applied your crew color onto it. Don't try this on any sort of console, only try it on PC. And of course, you can mix up your crew colors on PC. So effectively, you can get any sort of color on this type of paint job as long as you were doing this on PC. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, smack that like button, especially if you did learn something new. And also, if you are new here, I do recommend you click that subscribe button as well so you won't miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. Anyway, guys, my name is Nort. I hope you did enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next video.